I'm with Dr. Suntai Kim, who's the CTO of South Korean operator LGU Plus. Dr. Suntai, welcome. South Korea is a very competitive market, three major operators in the country. Tell us about the HD services that LGU Plus is rolling out mm -hmm. to try and maintain a competitive advantage for LGU Plus. We deployed single Volta service uh, two years ago, and then the reason why we deployed the HD uh, voice is to, in order to bring the, some all IP based services, uh, we determined to provide 100% uh, LT based service. So because of that, uh, we bring in uh, HD Volta service uh, for two years. Now, uh, that quality is uh, all the uh, quality indicator is better than uh, 2G and 3Gs. Uh, video cases, uh, we are providing uh, HD video for mobile and IPTVs. How are you enhancing and improving your 4G network to cope with demand for these new HD services? We determined, uh, let's make the some 100% LTE based mobile network. Uh, network. So, uh, we deployed 100% coverage of LTE, and then that coverage is better than 2G and 3G. Earlier this year, I heard your CEO say that video will become bigger than voice. Yes. Um, when will that happen? We believe that the video is a second uh, voice, second communication services. So we believe that uh, everything uh, will be uh, transformed as a, a video types. Because of that, we launch a video portal service, video SNS service. So every service we put on video now. And then also uh, those video services will be uh, meshed up uh, each other now. Can you give us a rough time frame on when you might launch 5G network? Our internal goal is no matter what, uh, you should achieve uh, uh, 5G's KPI by uh, 2018 as a pre-commercial and then we do have a plan to do some uh, full commercial service by 2020 in, uh, to meet uh, certain uh, key performance indicator uh, to meet uh, 5G capabilities. Dr. Santai Kim, pleasure talking with you. Thank you very much.